Hi, my name is Debbie Samuels, and I get to bring you Daily Hope for today. Long time ago, on one of my first trips to Egypt, I sat down with a friend of mine named Megid, and he was part of a team that was building the first ever sport camp in Egypt. And I began to ask him, what is it going to look like? And the issue we had is we spoke two different languages, and he wasn't great at English yet, and I had absolutely no knowledge of Arabic. So after a while, some frustration, he just cleared off the table and he took eating utensils and he began to build me the camp on the table. And finally, I began to see the vision. Well, we're entering into Romans 11 and here Paul is trying to give a understanding for us of a very complex situation. He describes a conflict that began in the early church and is still at work today. The conflict is that of the theology of grace as it pertains to the Jews and to the Gentiles that have come to faith in Christ. And the division of man I see through this grows when we, what we believe is bigger than the wisdom of God and fully understanding the wisdom of God may not be clear to us until we see God face to face. So this comes all the way down to trusting fully in God. In the message, if you look at verse 25 of Romans 11, it says, I want to lay this out on the table as clearly as I can, friends just like Mega did for me in putting together the picture of the camp with the utensils. The verse goes on, this is complicated. It would be easy to misinterpret what is going on and arrogantly assuming that you are all royalty and the others are just rabble out on their ears for good. Well, in our nation, we're experiencing the same type of thing. Our issues today are very complicated. It's easy to misinterpret what is being said. And our assumption that what we believe is the only truth and what others believe is completely wrong. Now, Paul was trying to clear up the situation for the Jews and for the Gentiles. He could do that because he was a missionary to the Gentiles but he was a Jew from the tribe of Benjamin. And if you dig deep into this text, you're gonna discover that all the promises that God had made are still going to happen for the Jewish race and for the Gentiles. One of the things that is said is right now the door is open. The door is open for those that do not believe. And we, as believers in God's plan, can have a part of moving forward His plan, and that is through sharing the gospel. In Mark 16, 15, it says, Go into the entire world and proclaim the gospel to all creation. The door is open. Finally, at the last part of Romans 11, I want to just take a look at these verses right now. I can picture Paul, he finishes the discourse on explaining between the issue with the Jews and the Gentiles in verse 32. But from then on is a doxology. And I can picture Paul, if he wore glasses, taking them off and putting them on the table and just going, oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable is his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay them? And this verse right here, let's listen to this. For from him and through him and for him are all things. I asked my husband to put a melody to this song and to this doxology and re-recorded it. So listen to this again through the beautiful tune of music 
and meditate on his word. the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable His judgments and His paths beyond tracing out. Who has known the mind of the Lord Who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him all all. Things. For from Him and through Him and for Him are all things. The power of God, the power of God. That's the power of God, the power of God. Well, may your day be filled with grace and hope, and may you meditate on that the door is open. Go share the gospel and know that God's wisdom is greater than our own. God bless you today.